Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On October 26, Ukraine held its parliamentary elections, and Canada sent over 300 observers to monitor these elections, as well as having the largest contingent uh, of, any, of any contributor. Our government has been the strongest of the international supporters of Ukraine as it works to restore its economic stability and implement, uh, implement democratic reforms. And that includes, Mr. Speaker, our Prime Minister telling Vladimir Putin to his face to get out of Ukraine. Can the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Defence please comment on this development? Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the member from Topico Centre for all of his hard work in support of democratic and strong and prosperous Ukraine. Yesterday, we learned that the Ukrainian parliament voted in favour of a new Ukrainian cabinet, which happened to also be the anniversary of Canada being the first Western nation to recognize Ukraine's independence. We encourage the new government to work with the people of Ukraine in fulfilling their economic and democratic aspirations. Restoring the public's confidence in the institutions is one of the many priorities the government of Ukraine must endeavor to achieve. Canada will always stand with the people of Ukraine, and we look forward to working with the new Ukrainian government.